guys i don't know how to call this according to the quran because i wanted to give a title to this video but i'm like i don't know if a husband divorces his wife marital advices if a husband divorces his wife he cannot after that remarry her until she has married another husband and he has divorced her in that case there is no blame on either of them if they reunite provided they feel that they can keep the limits ordained by Allah so if a husband divorces his wife he cannot after that remarry her until she, after she has married another husband and he has divorced her in that case there is no blame on either of them if they reunite provided they feel that they can keep the limits ordained by Allah guys from which satanic temple did you find did this Allah get this particular idea and put inside this Quran first of all I want to talk also about this verse this other verse this is actually Quran chapter 2 verse 230 that I was reading and then Quran chapter 2 verse 221 was talking about that Muslims are not supposed to marry unbelieving women until they until they believe a slave woman who believes is better than an unbelieving woman even though she is alluring to him to you nor marry you your girls unbelieving men a slave man is better than but the problem is but the problem is we saw in chapter one chapter two sorry chapter two that it is allah who says that who says that as to those who reject faith these are the unbelieving it is the same to them whether you warn them or do not warn them they will not believe they will not believe so if somebody has already rejected faith whether you go and tired yourself get tired speak till tomorrow the person will never believe because allah has already said they will not believe so allah has put why will they not believe because allah has put a seal on their heart and on their hearing and on their eyes is a veil and he has already prepared a great penalty great is the penalty they incur so whether you want to go and get married to one uh, to you because the Quran is saying that you don't have to get married you have to get married to uh, you do not have to get married to unbelieving women so it's useless to and there are other passages because that passage is actually found again here in chapter 2 we're going to come to it it's talking about you are not even supposed Muslim if a Muslim just dare to have a Christian as a friend Allah has no protection for him Allah is not going to talk to him anymore again even though Allah does not speak to any Muslim so according to what Islam is saying even Allah did not even speak to Muhammad himself directly but Moses spoke with God directly Abraham spoke with God directly Jesus Christ was speaking to the father directly uh, 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 Isaac was speaking to the father directly but we find out that according to Muslims, the last of the prophet, he's not speaking directly with God. What happened? <laughs> Anyways, you guys know what you are believing in too. So those who reject faith, they will never believe because Allah already said they will never believe. Why? Because he has already sealed their hearts, their ears, and their, and their eyes. So let's continue. Guys, I want you to tell me where you get all these things from if a muslim man and his wife are having problems if a muslim man and his wife are having problems look at the kind of marital advices you are going to find you're going to find here look at the kind of marital advices allah himself is giving to the muslims look let us go to the bible I have typed in the Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And in the Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, we are going to see, we are going to see um, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Let's read together. <sighs> Let's take. Let me say, you can read this first part here. If I speak the languages of tongues and da 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 da, da. Okay, let me just come to the part of love. 
Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. Love it does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor other. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoice in truth. With the truth, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be still. They will be still. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when completeness comes, uh, when completeness comes, what is part will disappear. And when I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put ways of child behind me for now we see only a reflection as in a mirror but when we shall see face to face now uh, now i know in part then shall i know fully so and now chapter 13 verse 13 and now these three remain faith hope and love but the greatest is love Look at the kind of marital advices God is giving you. So let me just say, Jesus is giving you. Jesus is saying that if you are in a marital scenario with your wife and your husband, and first of all, there is no divorce in the Bible. There is absolutely no divorce in the Bible. There is physical separation in houses in case there is like people are trying to kill each other, poisoning and all those stuff. Physical separation, you go and live in a different house. She goes and live in a different house until you sort out the problem and then you come back in the same house. That is it. But according to what is written in the Quran, and this is how a husband is supposed to love his wife. And then I'll find you the, the passage for the husband supposed to love his wife in the next video. I don't want to make this video too long. But this is the advice, the marital advice. A man, a husband, uh, God is telling people that a husband is supposed to, if your husband and his wife, they are having multiple children. And by some way, there is a problem and they are not able to withstand the problem. The husband is supposed to divorce the wife. And then the wife is supposed to go and first of all, get married to somebody else until she has intercourse with the second person before he has divorced her because marriage has to go with intercourse and then he has to divorce her and then once he has divorced her according to the hadith he says she must test he must test her jews and she must test his jews which jews are they talking about i don't want to think about that white thing that is coming out from intercourse i don't want to think about it but that is the jews that he may be saying she has to test his jews and he has to test her jews once a divorce now she can now come back to her husband just imagine and this is what the god of islam is advising married men to do stay blessed surrender to christ